What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today, more customization for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Today I'm going without the case, for the video anyway. I do have my uh, Urban Armor Gear Monarch Kevlar right here. I actually also ordered the Special Edition Olive Color. If you guys didn't see this, I posted about it on Twitter. That's coming today, so I'm super excited. I'll post some pictures of the new Olive Color on my Twitter. If you want to order one, I'll drop the link below. It's a limited edition, so I don't know how many more there will be. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about Icon Packs. I talked about this in a previous video, how you can get Icon Packs from the Play Store and use them on your Galaxy S22 Ultra, but people wanted a little more detail on how to install them using GoodLock. So today I'm going to show the full process because I think people needed some step-by-step -step instructions and I always want to help out. So for this video, you're going to need a couple of apps. First one is you're going to need GoodLock, which I've talked about a couple of times. GoodLock is Samsung's app. It's made by Samsung. It's not a third-party app. You find it on the Galaxy Store. It's only available in certain countries. If it's not available in your country, you can download the APK from a site like APK Mirror, but you have to use a VPN in order to install it. So I don't know exactly which country is available in. I know it's available in the U.S., a couple of other big countries, but I don't know. There's some exclusions, so you'll have to check and see. Once you download GoodLock, you'll also want to download the app called Theme Park, which is right there. It's also in the Galaxy Store. Once you download GoodLock, there'll be a little Galaxy Store link right here. You see this little icon? If you hit that, it'll take you right over to the Galaxy Store. You can also download updates and things for the app as well, so you can easily get add-ons for GoodLock. I've talked about a lot of these, and I'm still gonna talk about more later on in future videos, so stay tuned for that. So once you have GoodLock and Theme Park, you gonna do is open up Theme Park. And when you open up Theme Park, it's actually on this screen right here. So this is the main screen in Theme Park. At the bottom, you've got Theme, Keyboard, Quick Panel. You're gonna to wanna to go over to Icons. Today, we're just gonna do the icons. We can also talk about themes and keyboard and some other things later on. But today, I'll talk about icons. And if you go over here, you'll see that I've got a couple different icon uh, applications. I'm using the Vera Icon Pack right now. So if you're interested in my icon pack, I'm going to show you two icon packs today. Another one by the same studio. You can just search icon pack on the Play Store, but if you search for Vera, you'll find the one that I'm using. Actually, this is under movies and TV. So let me go back to Play Pass. It's live video right there. Here it is, Vera icon pack. This is the one I'm using. So if you like this one, it's linked below in the description. So once you go into Theme Park, once you're in Theme Park, what you're going to do in Theme Park is you're going to go to Create New. And once you tap on Create New, it's going to show you a preview of what the icons look like. Since we're going to apply a third-party icon pack from the Play Store, you're going to tap on Icon Pack right here at the top. Now, of course, there's Samsung icon packs at the top here, which you get from the Galaxy Store, but the Play Store has much better ones. You guys can see right there, I have Vera and Vera Outline. Vera Outline is the one I'm going to apply right now. It's actually the outline version of the Vera icons, which you could probably guess from the name. 1.4 Studio is the developer. They make a lot of great icon packs. The other thing you can do though is you can hit download and it just search icon pack in the Play Store and you can find some other good ones you like. I have a lot of suggestions. I'll try to make future videos on like my top five favorite icon packs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna apply Vera this time. So I'm gonna tap on Vera. It's gonna show me a preview of what the icons are gonna look like. Now, one thing I will tell you is, if you notice this, some of these icons don't show up here. Um, that's not a big deal. Uh, sometimes they don't show up properly, even though they will when you actually apply it. So what I'm gonna do now is go up here to the top. It's got this little download button right here. This is the install button. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it Vera Outline. Click OK. That's then going to install the icon pack. So you see it's preparing data at the bottom. Takes a second. Takes you back to the home screen, but that doesn't apply the icons yet. You still have to tap on Vera Outline, and then it'll give you the option to delete, edit, or apply. Now if you hit apply, it's gonna go ahead and apply these icons, and these are now gonna be the icons that I'm using on my device. So you see now it takes me to the home screen, and there are the Vera Outline icons at the bottom. Now, you see that all of them did apply correctly, including, let me go back, my Google icons. Everything applied pretty nicely. This is probably not the correct wallpaper to use with these because 
it's a little harder to see than the other Vera icons, but I wanted to show you guys a different one. This icon pack will look absolutely amazing um, with something like a black wallpaper or something like a darker wallpaper. Now, occasionally there are icons that won't show up in the pack or they're very hard to see. An example of that in this one looks like, let me find it, Creative Cloud Express. You see how there Creative Cloud Express isn't showing up. What you can do if you want to fix that problem is you can go back into Theme Park and then when you go into the Vera outline, you can go into edit. And when you go into edit here, you can actually see all the different shapes and things like that. At the very top, you can go to change icons. If you go to change icons, now you can search through and unfortunately, they're not really in an order that makes sense, but you can go through and search for Creative Cloud. Oh, it's actually CC. Again, live video here. So search for Creative Cloud Express. You see it doesn't have an icon. So if you tap on this, you can see now we're gonna go to Vera Outline and I'll just choose one that works for this. So there's not always an easy one that's gonna work for every app. Obviously this one, some, some icon packs are gonna be missing icons for certain things, but you can certainly just search and try to find the icon that makes sense. So let's see if we can find one in here. Like this icon, Creative Cloud Express, that could even be the one that was supposed to go there. It's just the name, the icon got messed up from Samsung. So then once you have that, you can go back and now in your actual apps, you can download this again. So you can call this Vera Outline again. And it's gonna save over your old pack. And when I reapply it, it's now going to apply that new icon that I just added. So I'm gonna go down here to Vera Outline, apply it. And then this pack will now have my Creative Cloud icon for Creative Cloud Express, you can see right there. So it does appear though, that for the outline icons at least, some of these icons don't show up as nicely as you would like. Um, that could be because they don't work as well with Theme Park. So you do have to be a little careful because some icon packs won't work as well uh, with Theme Park as they do with third-party launchers like Nova. Uh, even though I like this icon pack and I've used it before, I probably won't use it with my Galaxy S22 Ultra. Of course, that's something you can preview ahead of, ahead of time, kind of see if it works for you. And if it doesn't, there's always the ability to get a refund on the pack if you pay for it on the Play Store. So that's kind of an overview of how to apply icon packs on your Galaxy S22 Ultra using Theme Park and One UI 4.1 with good lock. You don't have to have a third-party launcher, but keep in mind that not all the icon packs are gonna work perfectly. We actually saw an example today where there's a lot of icons that are missing um, for various uh, ones of these, like lots of the ones that I have are missing. So that's something to be aware of. You can always customize them. It takes a little more work. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Future videos like this, you guys can still enter the giveaway for March. I'll drop the link below. Pen comment in the description. I uh, appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.